In this playlist, I'm going to be showing you how to do a bunch of different things in Excel that allow you to handle large data sets in a single spreadsheet. So oftentimes with my research, what I'd like to have in the end is one spreadsheet that I usually call the master spreadsheet that has every subject's uh, information and all of their information all into, again, one single massive spreadsheet. So it's usually multiple hundreds of columns long. So it's a very large spreadsheet, a large data set to handle all in one um, file. So with that, I'll show you how to do lots of things that allow you to do this and just navigate it and to treat it and um, to manage that large data set in a, a way that's it's not so cumbersome. For this, what I want you to do is to follow along with me. So if you go to the link in the description below, it's going to bring you to this page here. This is the Montclair State University Digital Commons, um, where you can find this uh, the data set for this paper. The paper was titled Young Healthy Adults with a Family History of Hypertension that increased microvascular reactivity but decreased macrovascular function. This is a paper of mine um, that's published. I'll also put some links below to the published paper if you're curious to uh, see this. But the point here is I want you to go to this web page and click where it says download right there. And it's gonna give you the spreadsheet that I'm gonna be using as the starting point for this playlist. And if you were to follow through the whole playlist um, from beginning to end doing the steps that I do, you should end up with a spreadsheet that looks just like my spreadsheet at the end. So um, again, this is a nice uh, sort of starter spreadsheet. It's very long, um, not as long as I typically have for my, my master spreadsheets, but still fairly long. Um, and uh, again, this will help you sort of learn the tips that I like for my students to, to follow in order to make a spreadsheet that works and that's easy to hand off from one person to another as long as they sort of understand the navigation about it. Um, the different tricks in here are also going to be useful just if you're using Excel on a regular basis anyway. So even if you're not trying to create this master spreadsheet in the moment, um, the things I'm going to be showing you through, through this playlist will still be useful to you.